Uh, welcome everyone. How you doing today? It's Wednesday night. I'm gonna do a, a quick landscape. I still have some of my uh, my um, fluorescent color out, so I'm gonna finish using that up tonight. And uh, these are the colors I'm using tonight: black, white, gray. I just mix black and white to get the gray and uh, I put a little blue in it also in fact I didn't put blue on here so I'm using uh, blue as well so when I mix my gray uh, white and black I put a little blue in there as well okay this is fluorescent pink fluorescent yellow fluorescent uh, I don't think that's fluorescent just these two are fluorescent pink and yellow I'm gonna do like a colorful sky like I did last night it came out pretty cool I put it on Twitter, the, the picture, and it's it's got the most likes already in one day, this one here. It's got more likes on this painting than I did on uh, some of my other ones that I do with, you know, natural colors, so I don't get it. I might have to start doing fluorescent painting seems like people like colorful stuff you know? that's my sticker up there I came up with this design I don't know about 10 years ago I found out that there was letters in the peace symbol P E A C E there's other words also you could spell but I figured well I start with Peace stickers like that. It's kind of cool. Here's my palette. I, what, I mixed a little white in each color, okay? Because these fluorescent colors, if you use them right out of the tube, they their their the viscosity is like it won't cover very well. So you got to put a little white in them. Okay, let me get started. This is a 14 by 14. It shouldn't take long. I'm just using water as an agent. And I'm not even going to, I'm what I'm going to do today, I'm going to put a sky up there and some mountains. And then I'll lay out the uh, the rest of it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put the colors up like a little different today. Like maybe more like vertical and sideways. So it's Wednesday. I was off today. But I had to go help. Uh, I had to go help someone with their uh, a tree, cut down a tree for them, which was kind of fun. Just gonna put a bunch of cool colors in the sky, mainly uh, uh, blue, purple, and pink, and yellow. Oh, I kind of—I didn't want to have to uh, layer it. I kind of wanted to put it up there, like. In a 
in blocks, but this is all right. This will work. <coughs> Blue's a little dark for me, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna lighten it up a little bit here. And add a little more purple. A little more pink. I kind of turned the pink a little orange. You see that? So what I'll do, I'll just throw some pink in over here. That way I'll get pink, orange, and yellow in the sky. And I'm going to add a little more yellow now to the bottom. There's the sky. I had a I just got back from practice. I had band practice uh, with Magnolia Steel Band. I don't know if you can see our album back there. There's our album cover. Reflections. We're on iTunes and all the uh, music platforms. We got a big show coming up here in Seattle. It's a show. Uh, <clears throat> a couple years ago, Macklemore played at it. And they asked us to play it this year, so it's like a benefit for It's for, like, construction. <clears throat> They're trying to get uh, construction sites to be cleaner. So they don't waste. They recycle and they don't uh, let any carbon into the air or something like that. We'll be playing at that benefit. It'll be kind of cool. There's the sky there. Look at that. This is going to look pretty good once I get a mountain up in there. This is almost kind of like what I did uh, yesterday. But I'm going to put a a bigger mountain in here today put a larger mountain this is the just gray black and white uh, I want that yellow to kind of show up over here on the side so we got pink over here yellow I'm trying to do these lives to show you, uh, you know, how easily you can learn to paint. I have plenty, I have so many videos on my channel. If you want to learn how to do acrylic paint, you can go back to my channel and pick the tutorials. I got a lot of tutorials on how to do mountains, how to do clouds how to do trees, how to do water. I mean, just pick the ones uh, that you want to watch. Go buy some paint, and you're on your way. <laughs> I think I'm going to put... Uh, since I'm going to make this a colorful painting... I'm going to put yellow... Believe it or not, maybe down here, under the mountain. And I think I'm going to mix some blue in it, because I don't have green. 
and I'll, I'll mix some blue in there later to get some, uh, turn this green or something, some grass. Look at that. I kind of like that so far. It's real simple. Trying to think what I want down in here. Maybe I'll run. Run a pathway. From back here. I'm just going to put the idea in there first and then see if I like it yeah I'll keep it simple this will be like a pathway I don't want it to be water I do enough uh, I do a lot of water scenes so we'll just make this some kind of uh, like a walk a walking path and then what I'll do at the end I'll take it like up into the mountains here like that tie it in here all right there we go I like that so what I think I'm gonna do I only really have that one color for down here uh, let me mix a little blue and yellow so you can you can mix right on your palette just take a little bit of yellow and Blue and yellow makes green. I'll make my own green here. And I'm going to use this green for... my scene. I'll do flat land right now and then I'll add some hills in there in a little bit this is going to be a quick painting it's acrylic paint what I like to do is just put the color down first and then I'll uh, start designing it after that This is like my underpaint, okay? All this color is going to change a little bit. pretty good I want to darken this pathway up I'm gonna mix uh, green gotta make some more green green and pink make some green make more green and then grab a little pink and you'll get like a, a grayish a brown grayish color and I'm gonna make the pathway just a little darker so I can see it okay There we go. Wow. <coughs> That's really fun. 
Look at that scene already. I can't believe that I'm using uh, fluorescent colors, but I started using these colors uh, last week. And I mean, they're coming out pretty good looking. Oh, I, yeah, I think I told you at the beginning, I put the one I did last night on my Twitter and it blew up. So I think uh, I'm going to put some white clouds right here. I kind of want the clouds to come behind the mountain here. From behind and then go up here. I'm just going to barely pull these out because I don't want to cover all the color up. I don't want to cover all this color. It looks good. Wow. If you're a beginner, this is the best way to make clouds, okay, with acrylic paint. Really simple and easy, okay? You just put your cloud up there and then pull the bottom uh, one direction. It looks like it's blowing then wow pretty good let me put one up here now maybe a long one Good enough. Real easy. Right down here, just put uh, some little clouds down near the bottom. I'm going to fix this one here. Just some small clouds. I'll probably make this one pink in a little bit. I've got to go to work uh, tomorrow morning early. So I thought I'd do a quick painting. I don't know what I do with my knife for the, because I want to put snow up there on the mountains. I'm looking for my knife. I'll try the new one. I, I bought a new uh, Princeton knife. It's pretty long. It's longer than standard. Uh, Let me give it a try. I might end up liking it. We'll see.
Do, 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 do. I'm a little tired today. I had a, I think I worked three hours on that lady's bushes and trees. <laughs> three hours, man. But it was a it was a nice day today. We got up to uh, I think we got up to uh, fifty nine today in Seattle. Almost felt like summer. You know, here in Seattle, we're we're not used to hot weather. Uh, when it gets like 70 here in Seattle, it's hot to us. Like, that's hot weather. So, we like it a little cool on the cool side here. I had a girlfriend in Las Vegas. Uh, she was from Montana. And her son would come and visit us in Vegas. And he would crank that air conditioner up like <laughs> nobody's business because he couldn't stand the heat in Vegas. And I, now I understand what he was going through because I'm the same way now. I'm used to this. Uh, I'm used to this cool weather, and I don't know how I managed to survive in Las Vegas all those years in that desert, man. The funny thing is, when I, uh, I moved to Seattle, all I had was shorts. I didn't have any long jeans or anything. It was all shorts. Now I don't have one pair of shorts. I got all jeans. Kind of crazy. Like in Vegas, when I lived there, people were just wearing like a, a t-shirt, shorts, and sandals, or you know your your uh, walking shoes. I don't I don't know what they call them these days. Gym shoes. We used to call them gym shoes. Nikes. Look at that. Yeah, if you're new to the channel and you haven't subscribed yet, I'd love to have you come aboard. try and convince you to learn how to do some landscapes I do some abstract too if uh, if you don't like doing landscapes but I would say if you're an abstract painter you should learn how to you should at, le at least learn how to do landscapes because they're a big seller okay when I go out and sell at the markets, the landscapes are still big sellers, okay? And everyone comes out different. They don't ever look the same. I've done thousands of landscapes, and I guarantee you there's not one that looks like another one. They're, they're always different. I always do the mountains a little different, the sky, the clouds, I mean the trail, water, I usually have water in here, a river, but today I'm gonna put a trail so they always come out looking different.
But man, look at those mountains already. You know what I wanted to do on this one today? I wanted to put I wanted to put a hint of mountains in the back and I forgot. I might still be able to do it here with like a light gray. I think I'll leave it. I, I kind of like what's going on right now. The, the colors are working really good. You got yellow, orange, pink, blue, violet. I mean, it looks really good to me. Yeah, I'm going to leave it like that. But what's cool about acrylic paint, if you're new, look how fast that dries. The one I was doing last night, it sold. Somebody wanted to buy it while I was painting it, so that one's already sold. <laughs> but yeah I can I can sell this one tomorrow and have, ship it off and if it's oil paint you gotta wait three weeks for that to dry let's see who's on I forgot all about the look uh, Ellie's on hey sorry I just, I just saw my phone it was sitting on the thing over there I decided to do another one with, I had a little bit of uh, uh, fluorescent colors out still, so I'm going to use them up. Yeah. Oh, man. I, I went down to Texas. I had a girlfriend in Texas. They lived in, uh, I think it was Abilene, Texas. Is that down there in the middle near the Gulf? Man, it was so humid down there. I couldn't believe it. I had a, it took me two days to get used to the humidity in uh, <laughs> Texas. But Seattle's awesome. It's, uh, the weather here, people think it rain. It rains all the time. It, <clears throat> it really doesn't. It does get cloudy, though. It gets cloudy, but it if it rains, it's just like a little sprinkle. You don't even feel it. So I did that mountain, I did that mountain with this new, it's a Caitlin, Caitlin, uh, I think it's Caitlin T. Oh, Catalyst. Catalyst uh, palette knife. I like it because it's got the wood handle and it's longer than uh, it's longer than a, uh, oh, here it is. The Artist Loft knife. It's a lot longer, see that? You got a bigger handle. So it's pretty good. It's time to put some uh, trees in here now, I guess. going to have to mix my own green. I don't have green out here, so we'll take uh, the rest of this blue. I'll mix some more blue up. And I'm going to make a pile of green and then put a little bit of black in it to darken it up. A weird looking green but I think it'll it'll go good with these colors put a little 
I'm going to save a little bit of this for in case I got to make some more brown. Put a little black in it to darken it up for some trees. It's almost like a bluish green. That's going to have to work. Uh, this will be for my distant trees. I think I want to try to run some trees. This is what I wanted to do the other day. I want to run some trees uh, right on this trail. But I want them to kind of start getting bigger over here. Yeah. You could either, you know, tap this color in or you can brush it in. Either way you want to do. Whatever's comfortable for you. I'm going to try and make these uh, evergreen trees. Going back off into the distance there. There we go. So they kind of look like they're going off into the distance. Really cool. Really cool looking. Yeah, I didn't I didn't see if uh, you responded to my uh, email, Ellie, because I just got done for the day. I was working in West Seattle earlier, then I had to go to practice. So I haven't really had time to look at anything. I haven't even really looked at my uh, YouTube today. I've been, uh, yeah, I've been busy. Where'd my phone go? Not even, I should put my phone up there so I can see who's uh, coming in. Yummy chocolate bar, right on, thank you. I'm glad you like it. Is that zoomed in far enough? I just saw that. Yeah. Look at those colors, man. Wow. You see the trail? You can still see the trail coming down here, whipping around here. This is really coming out pretty good. You know what I want to start doing though, guys, is putting a, like a, a regular tree in here with uh, uh, branches and 
I'm not going to do it today because I put a cloud right there. But instead of putting an evergreen tree, I'll start putting some other types of trees up there. So you don't get tired of uh, these evergreen trees. I'll try and make it look a little different. Thing is, I like to fill them in so I can highlight them. There we go. Look at that. I'll put some color on that tree today. I'll make it uh, like, uh, I'll make these bright green and we'll turn that tree into a, a bright green tree. I don't think I've taken too much time so far today. I think it's going pretty quick. Where am I at? 38 minutes. Not bad. There we go. I want it to look, some of them to look like uh, they're a little taller there. Wow. Yeah, you could almost, if you end up doing something like this, you could take these uh, treetops maybe down to here, you know. indication of uh, tree taps there Wow Such a small painting. I, I mean, I, I can't put much more in here. It looks, it's already pretty full. I mean, I got clouds. I got a mountain, trees. We got a pathway. Got a big tree here. I'm gonna have bushes here. I mean, it it looks pretty good so far. We'll line the, uh, this pathway, though, with a few bushes here.
me take a second to look at this. Let me see my... No, I didn't know. Uh, I usually don't put pink and purple in my skies. Uh, but like I just I told you earlier, when I put that painting I did yesterday on X, it got the most likes out of all my paintings that I've ever put on there. <laughs> so people like, they like colorful skies, you know. What was good about that one last night, the reflection was in the water, too. I really liked that. Let me see if I could come up with a green for... Yeah, I saved some of that green for the tree before I, I didn't make it all dark. Remember when I pulled, I pulled a little bit of that green over here, so I used that for uh, the tree. I'm going to lighten it up a little bit, though. It's almost like a light blue. like a lightish, a bluish green. This brush is getting old. There we go. A little bit of highlight on there. Just to give it some branches. These, what I'll do, I'm going to make these a little brighter, though. Uh, I'm going to add a little yellow to it. To that color let's see what happens here that works Good enough. I'm trying to go fast. I got to get up early. Uh, I've got to get up early for work tomorrow. Even though this is a pathway, I still put like white in it like I do the, the rivers. So it gives it some kind of uh, highlight in there. But you could use uh, like, a, like a, a brownish color if you wanted or yellow. I think I've got enough yellow over there though this looks pretty good 
I want to darken up some of this here though. Uh, There we go. We learned, uh, we were working on a new song today at practice. Put up a parking lot, have you ever heard of that song? Save Paradise, put up a parking lot. Joni Mitchell, that's what it was. Look at that. <laughs> I always got to put birds up there because it, it completes my sky, you know. All right. Well, that's about all I wanted to do today. I just wanted to do something quick and easy. Oh, here I'm going to lighten up this grass here. I don't know what you were asking me earlier on that one from yesterday. Yeah, I'll probably lighten up that grass. I forgot to do it, like wash it with a little yellow. I'm going to try it right now over here. I got a, just enough yellow left. Should wait for that black to dry. I guess I'll lighten up this here too. Just at the bottom. There we go. I'm going to try and put some bushes over here. There we go, guys.
man, I really like that one. <coughs> I could almost put a fence in there. Have you seen me ever put those fences in here? Like a picket fence? It kind of looks cool. Wow, I really like the way this came out. There's no water, but something different. Yeah, I do too. What time is it? Five, it's 52 minutes. Let me put a... Let me see if I can put a quick picket fence in there. I don't think it'll ruin it. I think it might end up looking okay, I think, because I, I, I think I want to put it, like, right on this side of the trail. What I'd like to do is run a picket fence. No, that'd be too much. a small enough brush all right i guess i'm gonna leave it like that for now <laughs> if i put a picket fence i'll throw it on the community page but there you go guys that that came out pretty good for a quick painting there's the dan the bubbles I like that silver screen there. That's silver screen. Here's eight millimeter. <laughs> that makes it look like old school there. Right on. All right, guys, you guys have been awesome. I'm going to, I got to get ready for bed and get ready for work tomorrow, but tune in tomorrow. I'll probably be doing a, a live uh, tomorrow evening, so I'd love to have you come back and uh, check it out. Sally, we'll see you later. Everybody, thank you for showing up tonight. <clears throat> Yummy chocolate bar. <laughs> you guys have been awesome. Have a good night, guys. <laughs>